We we'll begin with a new United Nations Refugee Agency report released Thursday indicating that 3.7 million refugee children under the agency's mandate do not have access to a school or even basic education. The report shows that when armed conflict or political instability send people fleeing from countries across the world, children leave behind not only their homes but also in many cases their education. Speaking in Geneva, where he released the report, UN Commissioner for Refugees Filippo Grandi said the situation gets worse as the children get older. 50% of refugee children do not have access to primary education. 22% only have access to secondary education and only 1% to university education. This is an area, fundamental area, in which, of course, the, the, the condition, the status of being refugees shows um, how penalizing it is for young women and men. Grandi says that, of course, food, water and shelter are the priorities for refugees, but when education is neglected, hope and despair tend to take over. He says that going to school, learning, acquiring knowledge and skills are fundamental to growth in young people. The report provides solid evidence that quality education provides safety, can reduce child marriage, child labor, exploitative and dangerous work, and teenage pregnancy. The UN study also notes the population of school-age refugees grew by 30% in 2014, a number requiring an extra 20,000 teachers. Host nations that in many cases already struggle to provide basic services to refugees must also find a place to hold classes as well as supplies. The world body has asked global donors for $4.5 billion this year to aid Syrian refugees. Funding for education makes up $662 million of that request, and as of June, the UN had collected only 39% of that total. In 2015, the same program saw most of the education funding arrive in the final two months of the year, which the UN said hurt the ability of host countries to make effective long-term plans for schooling. Well, Kenya reaffirmed on Thursday that it will close the world's largest refugee camp in the northeast uh, part of that country by November this year. Now, this comes amid the allegations by Human Rights Watch that it is harassing and intimidating Somali refugees to return home when it's not safe to do so. Now, the rights group says Kenya is not giving the refugees a real choice between being repatriated or staying, and that the United Nations Refugee Agency is not giving refugees accurate information about the risks they face in Somalia. A spokesman for UNHCR in Kenya says the agency would have to study the Human Rights Watch report before responding. Kenya says Al-Shabaab has used the camp as a recruiting ground for its attacks. Kenya softened uh, its stance in June following an outcry from rights groups who said much of Somalia was not yet safe for return.